Welcome to the 104th running of the Indianapolis 500. Today, two teams will go head-to-head -head on the most pristine track in the country. Let's meet our racers. Sitting in lane 6 is store number 1 with a total of two championship cups. Lane 4 holds number 55, driven by Newton. He has two championship cups to his name. And in lane 5 sits number 11, Einstein, with four championship cups. Lane 3 holds number 7, Pascal with 5 champion cups. Lane 2, number 23, Bernoulli with 7 champion cups. And in lane number 1, with 10 champion wins, number 2, Hertz, coming to possibly claim yet another gold in this event. Most likely I'm a die for my I've been grinding outside all day with my And I ain't going in unless I'm with my heroes My hero, my hero My hero, my hero My hero, my hero I put my hands I mean, you don't think that nigga really getting no money, right? I mean, he ain't really for the four, which one is yours? Well, damn. Bitch, you guessed it. Whoo! You was right. Now, this is a one of a kind race, folks. The numbers 1, 11, and 7 will be racing as the conservatives, while the latter 2, 23, and 55 are the non conservatives. Drivers, start your engines. And they're off. Dad Zooks, Batman. Of Crazy Monkey. Now let's find the distance at which the monkey was standing on the track. We are given Delta Y and the angle at which the nano was done, which is 30 40. You can find the distance by using the node. You can then find the time using the kinematic equation and then put it in to find the Delta X, which is the distance from the monkey to the track. Jump in Jehoshaphat, a sand patch. On the friction surface, we can find the force exerted by using our unknown, mu equals 0.3, the mass, which is 10 kilograms, and the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second. And plugging these knowns, we can find the force exerted. Leaping lizards, a frictionless slope, a completely frictionless slope. On the frictionless surface, we can find the unknown, by using our knowns and find the force exerted by the equation force equals mass times acceleration. And the winner is Dr. I think that's good.